do my makeup with me except I can only apply one drop of each product. This is going to be the hardest challenge I've probably ever done. Definitely for the mascaras, but luckily I have three, so hopefully it works out. The first thing is skin prep, so let's take one pump of this CeraVe moisturizer. That was one pump. I feel like one assumption about me is that I'm not humble about my account. I'm going to use this the Frilliance Primer because I just got this. Still going to try and do one pump. Okay, that was one pump. Thing is, I don't really talk to anybody about my account. Since we did all the skin prep, it's time to go in with some foundation. This is hard, but I'm just going to try and apply, get all that product out. And that should be enough. I have everyone blocked from my school because of social anxiety. The issue is I can't find a concealer that's like my perfect match. It's either too light or too dark. Now we're going to do my brows, which I don't know how this is going to work. The applicator doesn't count. One swipe. And I'm doing really well so far. I would use my e.l.f. concealer, but it's pretty much gone. So we're going to use the Morphe 2 as concealer again. One pump. And I feel like this may not be enough, but that's okay. Actually, this might be enough. Okay, we're going to start off with the I Heart Extreme Mascara. Another thing that makes me sad, though, is, like, growing up. Like, I just want to be a teenager forever. Now, this really didn't make a difference, but I have other mascaras, so that's okay. I already know that this one is dried out, so... We're going to blend this in, and I'm going to save my last mascara for the end. And I'm also going to do some... What is this? This is, like, a liquid blush. One swipe. This is not going to be enough. I can already fill it. So now we're going to do setting powder. Setting powder is my favorite part, and the fact that I'm not going to have a lot is going to make me sad. One pump. No, it's not going to be enough. Placement is so horrible. <sighs> I ran out. While that's sick, we get one swipe of blush. Well, actually, one dot. Okay. It's not even going to be enough. I also want to do black eyeliner, so I'm just going to take this. One dot. Okay. One. I already know this is not going to be enough for my whole face, but I'm over it. Time for some lip liner. Okay, how am I even going to do this? Let me know if y'all can see it. One drop of pinkness. Let's do one drop of lip gloss. Okay. Yikes. Now one drop of setting spray. This is the finished look. I feel like it came out horrible. But anyways, remember that I love you and have a great day. Bye, guys. Get ready with me for nothing. My mom keeps saying she'll take me to my eyebrows some, but she literally never does. Sorry, I don't really post very often. A lot of people come at me for that, but I just, like, don't really, like, like, in the morning, I'm just, like, too tired to even talk and stuff. And then in the weekends, I'm not really, I don't really do anything most of the time. But I'm just gonna get ready because I don't really know. So tomorrow is school and I also have cheer, but for cheer, we need to wear like, since it's our last practice before competition, we need to like wear our hair up, our makeup done, and like, we need to wear our uniforms in our bow, like, and I'm just like, what the heck, I do not want to go to practice in that, but. I mean, I don't even know how to do the makeup that they're telling us to do, because I realized, like, why does school start so early? Like, what's the point in starting so early? Like, why can't we start at, like, 8 or 9? I mean, I know some people do start at 8, but, like, what? Like, I'm at school at, by 7.52. People are waking up to get ready for school by 7.52. Anyways, people need to stop complaining about having to get up early when they literally get up at 8 o'clock to go to school. Like, we're all already at school in class, like 10 minutes into class at 8 o'clock. So, I think I put a little too much moisturizer. Um, I put way too many. Let me know what you guys want me to post. Because, like, do you guys want me to post, like, more Get Ready With Me's? Let's get ready to me is more hauls or like day in life or like anything. We're just gonna do a little bit of mascara today because I'm not doing anything today, so.
too glad I'm not. I don't want to go to any parties, hang out with any friends right now. I just want to relax at home and eat. Look at my lashes. Dang. I'm going to put this eyebrow on because it's my other one. It's really good. I just, like, don't feel like doing all that work. Like, it's so much work to, like, handle them because it dries so fast and stuff. But this one just isn't... The hold is not that good. Like, I mean, the hold... I mean, like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's a good eyebrow gel if you're not looking for it too much. But my eyebrows get messed up throughout the day. It literally ruins my whole look. Like, I look so bad. But if you don't look that bad when your eyebrows get messed up, then you should get this. Personally, my hair will mess up my eyebrows, so. So, here are the lashes. They look a lot better in person, but yeah. Anyways, bye guys. Get ready with me for the 104th day of school. First and foremost, thank you all so very much for 400k. It is actually so crazy that those words are even coming out of my mouth. You want to know one thing that's really been keeping me humble, and probably will keep me humble for the rest of my life, is my Snapchat memories. How I would like dress, how I did my makeup in sophomore year because I literally didn't know anything about it and I still kind of don't. When that trend was going on where it was like, Showing your 2020, like, indie phase self or whatever. As soon as that trend came out, I knew that I would not be participating. I don't know why the lighting is, like, making me look mad shiny. I kind of realized that I started off the week, like, very annoyed. And I had a very good conversation with my mom yesterday. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm dramatic. But anyway, yesterday I was talking with my mom about mindset and how important it is. Like, how you start your day what you say about yourself like it sets a tone there's just certain songs that i can't start my morning off to I usually can't get behind like most sad music if i'm thinking about anything that's like kind of sad on my playlist it's open arms oh and white ferrari and neither of those songs are in my morning playlist somebody commented like oh what if one of your teachers ends up seeing your tiktoks and my real and honest answer is just I'm wondering what i'm gonna get for breakfast because i spent a lot of money yesterday and it was not good we are finished. Deuces, deuces, and deuces. I don't understand why black people, and me in particular, get so much hate because of our skin colour. Like, it's just so dumb. Like, last night I was going through, like, my DMs and stuff, and I just saw so many mean ones, and I was just like, why are you hating on me because of the colour of my skin? Like, that's so dumb. But I honestly find it funny because some people were calling me licorice, they were calling me coal, they were saying how I'm the same colour as my hair. And I was just like, babe, what do you get out of saying that? Like, like you're not hurting my feelings. Mm. I know I say this like all the time, but I've literally experienced so many racist things in my life. And like some of the things that I've heard are so bad. I don't even think I can say on TikTok because it's literally so bad. And I just have to question myself and say, what did I do to make these that mad? Like, what did I do? Honestly, if you're a black girl, you want to start social media, do it. Because there are going to be some horrible people who are always going to have stuff to say about your skin. That's literally all you could say. That's why some kids don't want to start social media because obviously their skin's too dark and they don't fit the beauty standard. Which is not true whatsoever. Black is beautiful and I always say that. Look how good this elf primer is. It's literally not going anywhere. And it will actually always be the girls as well. Like, what happened to girls support girls? Like, I hate girls who are all, oh, I support girls. No, you don't, babe, because you hate on other girls. Like, that literally makes no sense. Don't claim something you're not because you're not a girl's girl. And I remember I caught someone. They said something so mean to me online. And then I saw them in my comments again on a different account. And I recognized their face. And I was like, you were just talking ass about me. And they full on tried to deny it and say, no, I wasn't. Oh my gosh, why would I do that? Yes, you was, babe, because you literally have the same profile picture and the same video. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Don't let other people bring you down, girly pop. Love y'all. Bye. Morning, guys. It's finally the weekend, so get ready with me. Let's ignore the fact that it's nearly 1 p.m. and I'm only just getting ready now, but it's fine. It's Saturday. Doesn't matter. I've had to slick my hair back as I am planning on washing it later, but it literally looks like I've got a hair mask in. This is literally just my hair on day two of not being washed. Anyway, it's fine because I'm having some of my friends around mine later, so I'm just going to wash my hair later. I'm also going to film like a vlog style get ready with me later as well because everyone seems to be really liking them and I'm really enjoying making them. Like, I don't know what it is about them. They're just really, really fun to film. So that'll probably be going up tomorrow in case anyone was wondering. I really know what we're going to do when they come around. I feel like we might. Obviously, now that I can drive, we can literally do whatever. So I think we're just going to go to a drive-thru, get some dinner, and then just come back to mine.
To be fair, this morning I have actually done three pieces of homework, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for me that is because normally I procrastinate so much and I don't get any work done on the weekends. So I'm very happy with that. I do have a psychology test, I think it's next week. So I will start revising for that, I think tomorrow because I'm a little bit scared. I like never know what's going on in psychology. And I'm gonna do a video soon talking about my GCSE options and A-level options and like which subjects I recommend and stuff like that because I have a lot of questions on that. Also, I know I said that I was gonna do a series on revision, but I just don't know where to start. So if you have any subjects that you need help with, um revision wise let me know and i'll just start with them because jesus are coming up really quick i need to start making the revision videos i need to go to the shop at some point as well because we've run out of ice and i don't know if you know this about me but honestly i have to have ice in every single one of my drinks and the fact we've run out is just awful and yes i am aware that that is a very first world problem but you know what i think i'm gonna redo my makeup later when i wash my hair so i hate putting makeup on like if i'm gonna have to do it again later because i feel like when you put mascara on after having already worn mascara if that makes sense it just like doesn't hit the same like, as soon as i take my mascara off later and i redo it it's just not gonna it's not gonna be a good lash day but you know what i'm making that sacrifice because i'm having to drop my parents and their friends off at the station and i just don't think i can face heading outside looking like just not okay like, i've already got greasy hair let's not make it look like i've just rolled out of bed as well I've been obsessed with making to-do lists recently and the thing is I don't even stick to them I just make them to make myself feel better because like I'll make one in the evening I'm like oh okay it's fine like I can do this all tomorrow I literally tick off like two things and then I'm like oh like it backfires so much because I'll try and be productive by making a to-do list and then I won't do everything on the to-do list and then I'll just feel really unproductive does that make any sense? Anyway, it's fine because I went on a run yesterday. Like, honestly, I really, really want to get into running properly. So I think I need to buy some running trainers because I was running in my Air Forces and, like, the backs of them are broken. I've had them for, like, five years. And every time I was running, it was digging into the back of my foot and it hurt so much. Like, I can't be doing that again. The thing is, I just feel like I'm not very good at long distances. Like, I did 3K yesterday and it did take me, like, 20 minutes, which I know is quite bad. But to be fair, I did do a lot of walking yesterday because it was raining and I didn't want to, like, run in the pouring rain. So I did, like, walk half of it. So you know what? I'll let myself off. It was really raining earlier, but the sun's actually seemed to come out now. Look at my little flowers on my windowsill. I really want to get into, like, the habit of buying flowers because I think it just makes my room feel so much, like, brighter. I'm so excited, though. It's next weekend. I have a party on Friday and on Saturday, which, like, never happens because I'm normally just at home every weekend. So let me know if you want to get ready for me for one of those because I'll probably do one either on the Friday or the Saturday. I had my whole body last night and to be honest it is actually looking quite good because I didn't fully scrub it off properly so it kind of is a bit patchy but on my forehead it's really bad like it's just all clung to my hairline so tomorrow I'm gonna have to do a proper reset day and just scrub all of this off. Okay that's it for base makeup I'm just gonna do my mascara now because as I said I'm literally just dropping my parents off at the station like it doesn't really matter I just want to look somewhat presentable for the rest of the day. My parents are literally only going out for an hour though, so I'm just going to have to go and pick them up in another hour. So you know what, a little bit of a boring travel, but it's fine. I actually just can't like comprehend that I can drive now, like the fact I'm dropping my parents off at the train station, like how has that happened? So I've had a few people ask for an updated room tour, so I am going to do that as well this weekend. I think when I tidy my room up a bit later, because that is something that I really need to do. I don't even want to show you the mess, but I've just like accumulated like a load of like boxes, like all over my room. And I just have no room to put anything. Like there's already two massive white fox boxes in my bathroom, just full of white fox clothes. Because I just, like when I tell you I have no room for them, I'm not even exaggerating. But it's fine, I've got the rest of the day to do that. So that is my task of the day. But yeah, I will do a room tour because I just love watching people's room tours. So I want to do one. Hey guys, I've just put my hair in a little French plait because I didn't really know what else to do with it. But I'm actually really liking it. It kind of matches the vibe of this top. This is my new top that I got from Brandy Melville, by the way. How cute is it? I just thought with a pair of jeans or like, I don't even know. Anyway, guys, that is my get ready for me done. Hope everyone has a good day and stick around for the vlog style get ready me that I'll do later, but post it tomorrow. That was really confusing. Anyway, love you. Bye. Get ready with me for 104 men with my boyfriend. I thought it would be funny if me and 207 other people like went to the movie theater and took up the entire place. So that's what we're doing. Even though I'm not gay, I'm still going with my boyfriend. I kind of just added random people on Snapchat to this group chat and thought that it would be funny. So... And yes, I'm going on two dates in one day. I mean, two dates in two days. Get the fuck over it. Last night, I didn't go with my man, though. Me and my friends are going to try and make it to, like, a 500 man. So, like, if you want to be invited, just put it in the comments. Ew! I'm a great actor, Madison, tonight, gang. Who pitched you the I told you the lyrics. Ew. I like eating feet. I'll keep y'all updated on my boyfriend, but I'm not even gay.